welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare a wood panel for oil painting or acrylic painting. So this is one of my favorite things to paint on. And number one, I like it because I can just get it at a hardware store. I don't have to go to a fancy art store to get this. It's way cheaper than canvas and it's not as fragile as a canvas, like you can't punch through it, but you do need to prepare it. And it's super easy, but some people have asked about it. And so I just thought I'd do a really quick video to show you. All you need is your wood panel and some of this. Gesso. This is the only brand uh, they had at my craft supply store. Usually I would get something that's a little bit bigger than this small container, but this works. So you just need gesso and you can use this under acrylic, under oil and other paint mediums. You can put it on canvas, wood, linen, any porous non-oily surface. So let's do it. Um, you can see I've already put some on here. <laughs> you could, this side I actually painted, um, I, I'm doing other things on it, but you can kind of see the texture. It's just really textured and I didn't want it to overtake my painting. And so on this side, I'm just gonna use a little less paint and get a little bit more of the texture that I want. If it's too globby for you, you can always grab sandpaper and sand it. The gesso is like, it's really globby and thick. So when you start painting it, whoops, I kinda got some down here. You can go, you know, make it super smooth up and down, you know, it kind of depends on, let me scoot this over, kind of depends on what you're going to be painting. Make sure number one that your wood panel is not warped because this one you can tell has a, has a little bounce in it, which is not a great sign. So you can make it really smooth, um, but I would recommend not going in the same direction. If you do something like this underneath your painting, it's gonna be really hard for people to focus on what's on top of this because it's so textured. But maybe you want that. If you want a ton of texture and that's what your painting's all about, then go ahead and keep it thick. I even know artists that will like draw through it like with their fingernails uh, to get texture or they'll put stuff in it to get texture. So if you like that, then <laughs> go for it. This, this is pretty creative. I'm gonna be painting a painting on top of this and I don't want it the texture of what's underneath is not important to me. I just want to make sure I'm covering up the wood so that my paint doesn't soak into it. Those are the tips that I have for painting on a wood panel. Use gesso. Um, don't have a ton of texture under it if you don't want to see it. You can also sand it down after you paint it. You can use a few layers of gesso, but I have to be honest, I usually just use one layer of gesso. Right? I'm just telling you the truth. And I like to vary my brush strokes and the direction that they're going in, just to make it a little bit more sporadic. But if you have like these rough edges like this, see these are just a little bit rough, you can sand them down before you start painting. You know, to get any of those scraggly pieces off, and then just keep going. Like see that glob? That will dry and you'll see that under your painting. So just kind of move it around. Make sure you completely cover it. If you don't, what will happen is your oil paints can seep into the wood. And think about instead of painting it all like this, straight up and down, because see that is a texture to me. I just kind of like to break it up a little bit. Also, don't use a super cheap brush because you might find bristles in this or little hairs from your paintbrush that can kind of be annoying. But you can totally use um, brushes that you can buy at the craft store to apply gesso. I'm using a really cheap uh, um, brush that can be used for acrylic or oil. So just cover the whole canvas, making sure you can't see any of that wood underneath. And once it's dry, you are ready to begin your oil painting or acrylic painting, whatever you're going to be putting on this. Also a quick note, you could also do this with acrylic and you could use a color. Sometimes I've done that too, but I like to apply the color over the white for some reason. It's just easy, easier for me to control, but you could just paint this painting right here, this barrier, I guess, between the oil and the board with acrylic paint. This actually is acrylic gesso. 
and acrylic layers really well under oil. Not on top of it, <laughs> but under it. But that's basically it. Now you can use this, you can paint on it, and I love using wood panels. Um, they're cheap, they're easy to find, and you can customize the, sh the size very easily. And sometimes the people at your hardware store are gonna be nice enough to cut these for you in specific sizes, but this is just one that I found already cut. It's two by two, two feet by two feet. So that was nice. Um, but thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to see what you create on this wood panel and have a wonderful day.